Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your love reading and it will be for May 2021, though I am releasing these a little bit early, so from now to the end of May 2021 for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well, let's get straight into your reading as we always do. Okay, so what do we have for Sagittarius please in terms of love, romance, relationships, thank you. May 2021, please. What do we have for Sagittarius, please? Angels, spirits, guides. Okay, a few cards there, but you know, I leave them to fall out because they're sometimes meant to be that way. I've got a spirit guide, so you're being guided in a specific direction here. Um, reconciliation is on the cards. Um, inspiration. I feel this is to do with spirit. You know, you're being guided by spirit your spirit guides and we have um manifestation this is about manifesting a new path wow sagittarius i mean those cards seem to follow on quite nicely let's pull some cards and see what we have for you what is the message for sagittarius please now to the end of may 2021 please what does sagittarius need to hear the most love romance relationships only thank you so I'm going to pull three cards, Sagittarius, and then we'll clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always, okay? So message for Sagittarius, please, angels. Spirits guides, message for Sagittarius, thank you. Ace of coins in the challenge position. The tower, advice from spirit. And the Five of Cups is your outcome. Let's clarify, go deep into the message. The Sagittarius, thank you. Nine of Pentacles. Tower, Four of Coins, and the Five of Cups, we have the King of Wands. I see this as you, male or female energy. Can be Leo as well for me as a reader. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Coins here. I'm going to pull a couple of cards here. Let's clarify this Five of Cups. Let's clarify this Five of Cups. So we have the Seven of Wands and the Emperor. And what is this Two of Coins, please? I've got the Ace of Cups here, Sagittarius. It's interesting because bottom of this deck is to do with um, is Gemini energy, the Knight of Swords. I did look, so I always put it down when I look. Okay. So the Nine of Coins, Sagittarius, is generally an energy of abundance, somebody who is materially successful, but it can be a card of independence as well, knowing their self-worth, self-esteem. Um, and it can be, in the challenge position, it can be about know your worth, know what you deserve, you know, that kind of energy. And I'm definitely feeling this here in the challenge position because the Ace of Coins is generally to do with moving, relocating, financial opportunity, career opportunity. It can be a card, a card of actually physically manifesting a new path in your reality. So it's it's like a building block energy, you know, I'm I'm putting the first you know, brick of the foundation down and I'm building this new path as I go. So it feels, I mean, it feels for some of you, there's independence here, but there's definitely an energy of no, 
your own self-worth, self-esteem. This is your, there's an opportunity here and it feels a golden opportunity and it feels to manifest some kind of new path. But, it, but I'm feeling in this situation you're still, it's in the challenge position because you're still holding on to what has happened. So I'm going to put down that and let's clarify this tower. Two of Cups, yeah. I mean, it doesn't surprise me here. So... Two of Cups is to do with a relationship, kindred spirits, a bond between two people, which has been destabilised, you know. Um, the Tower energy is, it, it can be a card of truth, um, re revelation. Uh, it's the tearing down of the old. And it feels this is clarified by the Two of Cups. So it feels to do with some kind of relationship here. But with this Four of Coins here, there's somebody who is not letting go. They're still holding on. Uh, they're not wanting to move forward, which is why that's in the challenge position independently, because they're still holding on to whatever this bond was. It feels to do with, I mean, obviously it is a love reading, so love, romance, relationships. The Two of Cups can mean more than that, but it feels in this situation there was a bond, very tight, deep connection, kindred spirit energy. Um, something's happened here and somebody doesn't want to let go. Now that can be you not wanting to let go or the other person not wanting to let go. There is an energy here of, you know, the King of Wands, which can be you or somebody in the relationship, male or female, it can be Leo for me as a reader, but this can be you in a general reading, Sagittarius. The King of Wands is somebody who takes the lead, is in his power, um, goes for what he wants, you know, very confident energy, a go-getting energy, a person of action, power, understands how to hone their power and take action to mean growth and success and opportunity into their lives. So there's definitely an energy of, of taking a lead in something because we, we have the Seven of Wands, which is a card of standing up for what you know to be right, standing up for what you know to be true. It's, it, it can be a defending energy, defending something. The Emperor card of Aries, I mean, again, there's a feeling of taking control. The Emperor is somebody who takes authority, takes charge, takes control of a situation and stands up for what they know to be right. It feels like somebody doesn't want to give up. It feels like somebody doesn't want to give up. I mean, you know, the Seven of Wands is a card of challenge, but they're getting on higher ground than that which, which opposes them. I mean, there's definitely an energy here, Sagittarius, of, you know, the Five of Cups can be about loss, regret, looking back. I'm getting this energy that it feels like a relationship has finished. Something has happened which has torn down uh, the solidity, the stability of what was a relationship and there is an opportunity to build something new but it comes from a point of independence knowing your own self-worth, your own practical capability to do that but there's resistance here because somebody it feels like somebody doesn't want to let go you know the five of cups is an energy of regrets looking back yeah, I'm, I'm definitely getting this energy of uh, regrets looking back, uh, looking at the negative. And while they focus on the negative, they're not realizing the hope that's around them. Sometimes there's an energy of everything is not lost here in this situation or someone's hoping that something's not lost. It's interesting because I've seen those two cups and those two cups there. It, it feels like there's still hope here. Interesting. They regret, and I'm definitely getting this energy. I mean, you can see those, can't you, very clearly. Something that I feel was was destabilized through maybe some truth or action or for whatever reason here, Sagittarius, somebody doesn't want to let go. And they're still hopeful. They want to stand by what they know to be right, know to be true, 
take the leap, take action. It feels like they want to make it right here because we have uh, the Ace of Cups, which it feels to do with an offer of love. And it, the Knight of, Knight of Swords is definitely communication, conversation, news, information coming your way. It feels like someone's speaking their truth here or there's a conversation that's being had here. Somebody hopes to bring change to a situation from a conversation that they're having with you. And I'm, I'm feeling this is renewed love. Now, it's interesting. Um, it can also be you feeling emotional rebirth because it depends on the choice. The two of pentacles is, can be a choice between two paths and you're just juggling, you're just weighing it up. Which way am I going to go? Um, which way? What is this going to be? You know, what is this ace of pentacles going to be? Uh, which, which route am I going to take? And that's why this is in the challenge position. It kind of makes perfect sense now because you haven't quite made up your mind in terms of which way you're going to go. Plan A, the first route, is somebody is apologising. The Ace of Cups is essentially the cup of joy, the new beginning. How are you going to move forward? What is going to make you happy, content um, on a new path, a new beginning, next level? So... In one sense, there could be an apology, somebody expressing their feelings for you, you expressing them for them, um, and giving somebody a second chance. There's reconciliation energy. The other way is what is going to make you happy is going your own way and turning your back on this situation. But it feels with the Five of Cups and some of these cards being on the table and the synchronicity of these visuals, that reconciliation is possible and that is one route. But I'm definitely getting in this energy of, do I want to be on my own or don't I? You know, do I want to give this another go or don't I? And it feels like you haven't quite made up your mind, but I'm definitely getting in this energy. You will make up your mind this month and see, decide which way you want to go. It just feels like you're, you're juggling in how you want to move forward right now. But nevertheless, somebody is full of regret. They, they want to defend. They don't want to let go. I'm, I'm definitely getting this energy. I will fight to the end for this relationship. You know, I am not letting go. Um, it, it definitely feels in this situation. You know, the emperor can also be a father figure. So for some of you, you might be... Um, you might be dealing with a father figure or you might be asking advice from a father figure here as well. I mean, you know, that's probably, you know, just an additional thing that I'm getting. But it feels in this energy that you you have some choice or decision to make. And it feels like you're you're making your mind up in terms of which way you're going to go here, Sagittarius. But somebody doesn't, they're going to fight to the end, I think, for this. And that's what I'm getting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, a lot of energy, a lot of power energy in here. Oh, wow. As I said that, the Empower card came up. Um, Phoenix, Empower. Fire activations bring creative and spiritual freedom. You know, the Phoenix rises from the ashes of the old and embraces new possibilities. It's whether you can shed an old skin, wipe the slate clean, move forward. That's entirely up to you or whether you want to go your own way. You know, we have the dog, divine service. How can you serve yourself better? feels like you're making that kind of decision this month. What is of value to me? What do I deserve? You know, there's a lot of self-worth, self-esteem that's linked with this because I feel something has knocked or something may have... Uh, challenged how valued you feel in this relationship and there has been some revelation here there has been deep change some kind of life-changing destabilizing energy but somebody definitely doesn't want to let go and that's definitely what I'm getting here Sagittarius so I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time thank you